he has he has the career of that everyone dreams of. I mean, obviously, he probably would want it to have made a world team, you know, because that's why we do it, right? You want to represent Team USA, but he did get to go to World at World Relays. He was on that world record team where he ran the twelve hundred. Uh, mm -hmm. He had he's run some very fast times, three thirty four. This is uh, fifteen hundred PR. Um, he won the Milrose Mile in high school. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I think everyone in the everyone would be really would take his uh, career any day of the week, and uh, mm -hmm. nothing to be ashamed of. And he's gonna be still relevant in the sport, I think, for you know next 10, 20 years uh, because of his personality. He'll have some great takes. He did something that very few runners do. But pretty much everybody our age and around our age talks about, Gordon, this whole idea of building a brand. And it's become so cliche and everybody talks about it. And he actually did it. And his was real within the sport of running to the point where that was almost more important than his results. And I say that as a compliment because he made people care about his personal journey. And we've seen this firsthand just in terms of how much interest interviews that he would do would garner or how much support we'd see that he would get in in these races for somebody who didn't have Olympic medals, didn't have world championship medals, didn't come in as a five-time NCAA champion, but he was doing something that a lot of people were trying to do and not able to do, and that was build a fan base.